hackers can silently control Siri and other voice assistants. Europe creates new rules for employee monitoring. Hi everybody, I'm Priscilla. Welcome to another episode of the Mikey Security Report, your weekly roundup of the latest cybersecurity and hacking news. What if your smartphone started making calls, sending text messages, and browsing websites without even asking you? What if the iPhone 10 costs a thousand bucks? Both are no imagination. A team of security researchers from China's Ziyang University, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. How do you say it? Zing Yang? Zi Yang. Jang. Okay, let's go with Jang. Team of security researchers from China's Jang University. <laughs> We're gonna get sued. <laughs> have discovered a clever way of activating voice recognition systems like Siri without saying a word. And by exploiting the security vulnerability that is available across all major voice assistants. It's dubbed the dolphin attack. Poor dolphins, what do dolphins have to do with this? Oh, because they're squeaky. Oh, interesting. It works by feeding the voice assistant's commands in ultrasonic frequencies, which are too high for us humans to hear, but perfectly audible for our smartphones. Dolphin Attack works on just about everything, including Siri, Google Assistant, and Alexa, and on devices such as smartphones, iPads, MacBooks, and Amazon Echo. A total of 16 devices and seven systems. Now the hacker can do many things, including initiate video or phone calls, send fake text messages and emails, publish fake online posts, add fake events to calendar, turn on airplane mode, unlock your door if you have a smart lock. And since the screen display and voice feedback could expose the attack, all the attacker needs to do and will do is dim the screen and lower the volume. So how do you prevent dolphin attacks? Don't swim in the sea. A quick solution is to turn off voice assistant apps until a patch lands for your devices. Finally, European countries must inform employees if work emails are being monitored. The European Court of Human Rights has overturned an earlier ruling that gave employers the right to spy on workplace communications. The ruling will now become a law in 47 countries. In the Q&A section of the website, the European Court of Human Rights claims that the new law doesn't mean that employers cannot monitor employees in the workplace. It explains that employers must inform their staff in advance if they are being monitored, and that the monitoring must be carried out for legitimate purposes. That was all for this week's episode of the Mikey Security Report. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I will see you soon.